Yamaha Moto made their debut at CES, the world's biggest annual technology trade show in Las Vegas, with two game-changing motorcycle prototypes which incorporate robotics and artificial intelligence. Yamaha's autonomous motorcycle, which created much excitement on the convention floor, uses AI cameras, sensors and facial recognition technology to assess its rider's biometrics and movements and adapt accordingly to improve safety, handling and mobility. It also comes or goes away from the rider when it's called or sent away. Also brought to CES by Yamaha is Motorbot version 2, which is a robot that actually rides a standard motorcycle without undergoing any fundamental modification to the motorcycle. It's tremendous robotic technology that Yamaha is working on and it's important for Yamaha to, to focus on these two aspects. So Motorbot is high speed performance, Motoroid is more low speed handling and, and understanding of the rider. And the point of both of these motorcycles is to help with rider unity. While Motoroid uses its technology to better understand the driver and improve handling and mobility, Motorbot is primarily concerned with going fast. Well, the first one we have is what we call version 2 of Motobot. It is a basically a robot that rides a motorcycle and rides a motorcycle very fast around a racetrack. And then the second motorcycle that we have is Motoroid. And Motoroid is a, does face recognition and Motoroid will come to you when called and move away from you when asked to move away. Its designers hope that one day it will reach speeds of 200 kilometers per hour. What's been hailed as the world's first laundry folding robot wild crowds with the hope of one day putting an end to the mundane task of folding clothes. To use Laundroid, which looks more like a closet than a robot, the user simply throws a pile of dry clothes into its bottom drawer, pushes a button, and then the clothes appear neatly folded on Laundroid's upper pickup trays once the folding cycle is complete. Laundroid is a brainchild of Japan's Seven Dreamers Laboratories. The company's president and CEO, Shin Sakan, says Laundroid uses three main technologies to carry out the complicated task of folding clothes, which are artificial intelligence, image analysis and robotics. There are a few multiple robot arms in there, and then there are a few cameras in there. And then once you load up to 30 clothes, like a drive, randomly into it, you just start the machine, and it automatically robot arm pick up one item at a time and then with the visual analysis and AI it, it takes pictures and recognizes what kind of clothes that is and then uh, it, it starts to fold and in order to fold one item it calculates about 30 times and then uh, once it's folded it's placed on the uh, pickup tray and then it continues until everything is done. The reason why so much technology is required to fold clothes robotically is because a fabric is a difficult material to work with due to its softness. Yeah, you know, like a clothing is a soft material which is very, very hard to uh, identify what kind of clothes that is. And then uh, so we developed the technology to uh, robot arms to spread out and then uh, we use deep learning uh, trained with over 200,000 images per clothing type. It's a lot of pictures and data. And then the trained AI will you know, distinguish if it's a t-shirt or pants or you know, towels. And then after that uh, machine, after it's recognized, it starts to fold the way it should be. Seven Dreamers Laboratories plan to release Laundroid at the end of 2018.